What's happening, everybody? We welcome you back to another Top Recruit Conversation. I am very, very happy to be able to... I, if the headphones and this fit at the same time, I would do this for the, the entirety of the interview because we got a CIF champion and a legend in the making, Max Smith from La Jolla High School, on a, with a line with us at the other end. What's going on, my man? Glad to have you on the show. You're wearing your Navy shirt. Go ahead and hold yes. that up for everybody. Gonna. He's going to be a midshipman next year playing some football there. So let's start with that, man. Thank you in advance uh, for your service, your your dedication to our country. <laughs> what was that decision like for you? What What finally put it over the edge? Uh, definitely. I went to go visit just to check out the campus and the town and that kind of just going there kind of sparked something in me that I kind of knew was special and I uh, couldn't pass up on the opportunity and going out to Air Force and UNC also uh, kind of showed that I like I beautiful places, but just not, not the same as Navy. So that kind of just pushed me over the edge, but um, yeah, just kind of super excited about my commitment and the commitment afterwards and kind of, serving for our country. Does it have anything to do with also the style of football that Navy plays? Because you strike me as the kind of guy that likes the physical uh, fought within the confines of the trenches type game instead of uh, the, the, you know, the West Coast run and gun passing type stuff. Yeah, definitely. No, it's definitely physical football that I don't know. I kind of grew up in Pop Warner playing kind of same triple option. So it's kind of just back to my roots and uh, definitely just want to be in there physical, do as much as I can to because well, if I remember correctly, you're also a rugby guy. Yeah. Yeah, you're a real big rugby guy. So, I mean, maybe I'm comparing apples to oranges and showing my sports ignorance, but it does the rugby set you up to be a more physical, crazy, like contact-friendly football player? It seems like that yeah. mindset goes hand in hand. Yeah, definitely. It definitely kind of taught me how to just kind of go all out throughout the whole game, even though those breaks, kind of, those breaks are kind of good for me now. Which one came for you first, rugby or football? Football. So then how did you end up with rugby? Rugby was kind of something that started at the high school, La Jolla High. It kind of started when my brother was a junior so or sophomore. And so he started playing and then I started playing when I was in eighth grade, kind of just to go into high school because I was going to play in high school with him. So I just did that and kind of just fell in love with it. And so, well you, oh, so you figured, okay, the version of this where I have protection on is safe. So yeah. we might as well just play the version without like, it yeah. seems like kind of, there's a weird jump there in the logic from, yeah. I feel safe with this version. Let's go ahead and just get rid of all the pads and everything and go after it. Um, but I take it you've enjoyed rugby as well. I, I've always, I'm just fascinated with people that are, you know, playing those fringe sports and doing them quite well. Uh, what was the high school rugby experience like for you? High school rugby was super fun. We're going to play this season too for my last season of rugby. But uh, it's definitely just something cool because it's a new kind of building. We're building the culture like from the ground up because it just started. So it's cool to be the beginning kind of. Well, because it's it's, it's like that. it's you guys, Cathedral, Torrey Pines, Saints. I'm probably leaving a couple of teams out, but it's not that big of a community. But I feel like everyone yeah. I know who revolves in that orbit is insanely passionate about it, though. And it's one of the most like when you finally go check it out, it was entirely worth your time type experiences. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's San Diego's a, a big hub for rugby, too, so. Everybody knows everybody, and it's a really tight community. Nice, nice, nice. Um, we got, I, I, I got to finally get to asking: is the is this is the championship ring anywhere that you can go get it, and we can see it? Yeah, I, I can. Okay, I can please go, go get it. it. Please go get it. All right, I'll go grab it. Very excited about this experience. Thank you again, everybody, for tuning in to San Diego Prep Insider. This is the downtime where I'm gonna get some sort of mu- I, you know what I'm gonna get some sort of musical jingle for the future ones of these. Um, Always learning new things. Appreciate you guys always uh, sticking around for the ride. Back. <laughs> yeah, I got the box in. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, buddy. Right there. It's nice to have in the room. Okay, so what was that ex- reminder? What, what was that experience like for you? I mean, you can tell it through the day of the game, or you can tell that through what the whole season was like, or what the whole three years of high school was like leading up to that. Just what what sticks with you still from that championship run? Uh, definitely just just the grind. I mean, we came in. Oh, high school's not like a very memorable for football programs, but I mean, we came in with a with a purpose, especially my class and the class above me, junior and senior class. We just kind of had a mission that before the season even though we didn't have a favorable season the year before, we knew that it's a different team and we make, we make different things happen. So we kind of just capitalized on that and capitalized on all the positives and worked on the negatives and made those as minimal as we could and just kind of 
get to that final game was very rewarding and it was all all paid off basically um i do have to ask because you are i as far as i could statistically check you're the only person that i can ask this question to uh on the face of this earth um but what is a more rewarding experience winning a cif championship or being the only person who intercept tyler buckner twice <laughs> Uh, I would say CIF just because it's uh it's but you uh, laughed and you had to give that a little bit of a thought though you had you yeah. did, did you did you realize that that you're the only person that I could find in a like in CIF that has intercepted Buckner twice? I thought it was maybe just because it's not a very common thing, but uh yeah, um, nice to hear it. Yes, it is nice to hear. We love Tyler. He's a great quarterback. Yeah, you say what he yeah. wanted. He was coming back from injury. Yeah, you took your opportunities. You got your interceptions. Yeah. Um, I got that, one yeah, that rivalry was good last year. That was a that was a really well balanced game. Um, yeah, that was a fun game. Definitely one of the more fun games of the season. Um, so you guys end up winning the championship. You go onto the state playoffs. You, you know, like all San Diego teams, you represent well. It, it it was just great to have you there. But it felt like from some of what I could gather on social media that a lot of you guys were walking away from last season saying, "We don't feel like we're done. We feel like there's a lot more left in the tank." So what, I mean. I know the season's been pushed back forever and we're kind of in this weird holding pattern, but what is the mindset right now from the senior class? Uh, the mindset's definitely just kind of not as so repeat, but just recreate, get a new whole season, a whole new season and do the same thing from scratch. Just push on and don't be cocky because the year before, like that's super easy to do, but just keep our heads down and kind of push forward. So what have you been up to in the offseason? How have you been staying offseason quarantine, whatever you want to call it? I'm trying to yeah. paint everything in a more uh, happy light. Um, yeah. <laughs> but what have you been up to during the offseason? How are you How are you still getting some sort of football uh, shape in your life? Yeah, I mean, I live pretty close to the school, so I can always go there for field work with the, the teammates. But um, definitely just having an at-home weight set and weight room is kind of nice. So it's definitely helped me work out six, seven days a week and just kind of keep on top of it. I was curious off of, of, of you know, a, a lot of different decisions that were made timing wise when they pushed it back to, you know, football starting in January. I, I was sort of thinking we're going to see football players potentially healthier than ever before by the time they're going into a season because you will have had a longer off season than ever before between two school mm -hmm. years. Do you feel like maybe that will you know, play a, a factor into, you know, some, someone like yourself having a more physical approach during the season that you, you, you feel good being able to play on three months more rest or is, is that really a non-factor? Uh, no, I'd say it's definitely a factor because no matter where you put it, if you work harder, you're going to get better results. So, uh, definitely the kids who have been kind what, of and, and, sleeping at home and stuff, not going to do as well. And football ends up hurting, especially when you end up going on yeah. a state run, playing four or five more games than you've ever played before in a season, I would assume. Yeah, the 15 games was definitely rough. It was uh, different on my body, but this extra time helped, helped me heal fully, get back to my preseason state. Aside from the football stuff, what have you been up to? I mean, you, you, do you have like do you play the guitar now? Have you picked up juggling? Because I feel like everyone's had a ton of downtime the last few months. And you had to have been doing something fun. Uh, yeah, I mean going to the beach when it's open and when it's good. So uh, that's always been a positive, but uh, kind of just restructuring everything, like kind of focusing on school. It's a great time to do that, especially. And uh, just kind of, I don't know, I've picked up running. I don't know if that's per se fun, but something I didn't do before and I started doing it now. Hey, so. cross country kids think it's fun. They love yeah, it. It's literally true. their life. They, they're like, yes, I, I elect to go run a marathon. Um, I yeah. always thought that was a little crazy. I like the sprint sports. You know, you get, you're running <laughs> yeah. in in really short bursts. Um, well, did you see, definitely not for me. did you see DK Metcalf? I'm assuming you saw him run down yeah. Blue Baker. Uh, yeah, it, that's impressive. Does that now haunt your nightmares as a, as a linebacker of being hunted down by a wide receiver like that? Cause I'd never seen something quite like that before. Yeah. I mean, that's when you're out that far ahead, you don't really look behind you, which is good, but something like that's on the field you definitely have to kind of keep a keep an eye open uh so even though there isn't necessarily someone quite that fast in san diego do you just feel like you're going to go out there next year and be like uh, maybe i need to look behind me now like because you, you i guess you can never t uh take a touchdown for granted um i'm, I'm yeah. assuming he thought he had that one in the bag um yeah. favorite beach in san diego since you bring up beaches what, what's what's uh, maybe your top one or your top three something like that definitely uh wind and sea that's kind of the go-to okay fair enough yeah burritos top top or and or mexican spot top mexican spot uh i'd say riga Mertos or uh don carlos one of the two what is the what is the go-to order 
the go-to order is definitely a, a carne asada fries burrito from Rigoberto's. Really? I was going to say California yeah. burrito from Don Carlos. That is my uh, burrito of choice pregame. Um, maybe why I was never a good football player. Uh, who knows? <laughs> um, so, I mean, we, we've still got a couple more months. I think it's 46 days or something like that until we finally get back into action. Um, yeah. So I, I'm not going to bore everybody with schedule talk or anything like that. But um, I'm assuming you guys feel like it can't come to like it can't come quick enough, right? Like, you're, are you going to be yeah. blown out on? Like, are you going to be blown? Are you going to? Do you feel like you're going to be overly like? I'm just I'm I'm tired of waiting. I'm too tired for this season. Or you, do you feel like you guys are capable of still being? Let's get a little bit more amped up every day, even though you got 46 days left. Yeah, I think definitely from far away. When the season's far away, it's easy to kind of slack because you're like, oh, it's so far away, and I'm not going to be able to play, and it's going to be all frustrating. But when you get closer to it. It just really brings that out. And I, all my teammates have been talking about it. We've all been talking together how we just want the season to start right now. Because, uh, I mean, we did damage. And 40, 46 extra days just gives us more more time for preparation. So, Deal. I'm also looking forward to this season, and I'm sure you are as well, because uh, offenses always take longer to click. And I'm sure that that means that defenses this year, just because they're, they're pent up and they're angry and they've been so bored without football, are going to be crushing offenses early in the season like it's going to be a low scoring game type thing for the first two or three weeks yeah. of the year uh, it's going to be a fun season max is going to be a great player to watch one of the best out there in san diego the guy you need to know once again he'll be co- going to play at navy next year i'm sure that this will be the first of many times he's on the show with us uh because we, we lean slightly towards a certain bias uh when it's just me left alone in the studio and nobody to uh to tell me otherwise so max we thank you so much for being on with us Uh, sail the ship, my man. We will talk to you soon. And everybody else, we will see you guys next time.